Hello guys and welcome back on Dapp World. Until now we have developed a storage program and also discussed the Solana program structure. Now let's write some tests for the storage program. Open the project in the code editor. Now the first thing is install the anchor and web3 as node dependencies using these commands. After successful installation, open the test file in tests folder. If you want to write tests in Mocha, you can go for it, but since our program is so simple and short, we will directly write tests in plain JavaScript. Open the file from tests folder. If the file is of type TypeScript, then create a new file of type JavaScript and name it as myproject.js. After opening the file, empty all the code and start from the first line. Let's import the anchor with require. Then define the system program. Now let's create a test function and after that create a run test function. This run test function is our main function which we will call below our file. This function is defined as asynchronous and calls the test function which we have defined above. Now let's define some parameters in the test function. This line defines the provider. We are telling Anchor to grab the provider from our local environment. Remember we have set the local environment with Solana config set localhost. Now let's get the program and generate an account. After that let's initialize the account in our program to store the value by calling the initialize as follows. The parameters passed here are same as defined in the program. If you have noticed, we are not passing the exact value because in the Rust, we use snake case instead of camel case. But in the test file, we are using camel case to call the variables. This is something is handled by Anchor and we can follow the best practices regardless of what language we are using. Now that we have initialized our account, let's try to call the data with fetch. Here we have called the init account and then consoled our output value with fetched value dot value dot to string. Now before running the test, we have to make some changes in anchor dot toml file. Now run the tests with anchor test. Remember that while using anchor test, there should not be a Solana test validator running anywhere, otherwise it will throw an error. After running anchor test. You should get the output as defined in our program. Remember we have stored value 10 in the program. You can change the value in the program and test again if it's working properly. Now let's write test to update the value. Make sure you convert the integer to big number before passing it as a parameter. This should update our value in the program. Let's check if it's updated or not by calling the value again. This should output the value as 40. You can change the value and check yourself if it's working properly. The final result should look like this. Now in the next chapter, let's see how to deploy this program on devnet and localnet. See you in the next tutorial.